do, how do you guys feel being able to bring this here to TIFF? Because, you know, it's there's a few Canadian films that are picked to be at TIFF that are, it feels like they're bigger than all the rest, I guess you could say. They're, they're you know, the ones that really stand out. Your film, I would say, has been standing out. Do you, how do you feel about having that represented for all the, the people who are watching? Um, I, I'm, I'm happy uh, for us. Um, but I'm especially happy for the director, Molly McGlynn, um, and uh, producer, Matt Code, Christy. I mean, they worked, obviously, really hard to, uh, to get this little baby off the ground. And when you say, you know, you say big films are, 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 are selected, I mean, it, it, big in the sense that it was a grand accomplishment. It's not a big blockbuster right. film. No. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It's a lovely, uh, it's just a lovely film that's uh, um, truly based in a, in, on ca character study. And these are really fascinating uh, uh, characters in, in this uh, in this movie, and it's intense. I mean, I think the emotions, the the story that's being told. I mean, intensity is certainly a huge part of that storytelling. That's probably my favorite part of the film. Is just like the subject matter is very much dark, mm -hmm. and yet Molly wrote it in this light way, mm -hmm. and you still have moments where you can laugh, which I think is very true to life. I mean, right. even in our darkest moments, we laugh. So I think she she really. So for you guys playing the characters, I mean, tell me how you approached the characters. Was there something that, that hooked you in on how you were going to play the characters? Uh, <laughs> I, I uh, sat down with Molly uh, before I even got the part. She wanted to meet me in person, which I thought was really cool. Hmm. Um, and she spoke to me, she told me about the character, and the thing I connected with most was the fact that this character loves her father, hmm. like, beyond words. Um, and my relationship with my dad is amazing. I mean, we're best friends. And I loved that. And I also very much connected to the fact that Robin really keeps her image up. Like, mm. she's very meticulous about who she lets into her inner circle. Right. And um, I think that was a really cool, complex character to play. Because I'm usually playing, like, sweet, like, happy girls. And mm. this was the first time where I had to play someone a little more... Layered, so it was a real challenge for me, but I loved it. That's cool. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I agree with everything too that Sarah said. I mean, the, the casting process and this is what really interesting. And you know, the process sometimes is you know you 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 know audition and then you you read. But Molly, um, recognizing that this was her piece and this was a very personal piece in many ways, um, you know, chose to sit down and, and, and talk with us before. Um, and certainly, we met. I mean. I, I read, and then, then we had just a great uh, coffee together and uh, talked about this character and just realized, we, you know, we were sort of coming from the same place. I really understood where she was coming from with the character of Walt, and um, I was immediately drawn to it. And I think in, in some ways we all are drawn to these, you know, flawed characters that are just desperately trying to make amends, trying to get the cards on the table, trying to just make it right, whatever right. that means within a within a family dynamic. Was there a particular scene that you either of you enjoyed playing more than others? Is the one that stood out? I think my favorite, one of my favorites, was probably one that we shot right by Niagara Falls. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> the mood on set was very tense that day because obviously the falls cause a lot of sound issues, right. and it was like mist was getting in all our hair, and and the makeup people were like, oh no, everything's melting, and <laughs> and I think everyone was just so stressed, but it ended up being one of the funniest scenes mm -hmm. in the movie, and. Um, I remember, like, I and I were just, like, laughing. You have to laugh in those right. situations. With any any time on site where it gets really tense, you just kind of have to be like, okay, we're going to deal with it. We're Stress gonna relief, going. right, yeah. Yes, so it was like, oh, it was just amazing. It kind of summed up the whole experience for me. <laughs> um, I don't really, I'm just, you know, thinking back. Um, of course, we shot this a, a while ago. Um, and to be honest with you, I haven't, I haven't seen oh, the, you haven't the film seen from, you know, beginning to end by any means, so... Um, That's pretty common, though. Most yeah. of the actors I've talked to haven't seen their own films. Yeah, yeah. So um, time is of the essence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think you know. I think that first day, you know, and and because of the logistics of trying to make a feature film on you know these kinds of conditions and budgets and things, um, 
there isn't the opportunity to have, you know, extensive rehearsals and all, all of this. But I think what I really kind of liked is that meeting Aya for, for the first time because we, you know, pretty much literally met and started shooting. Right. And, uh, of course, when you see the film, you'll see why that is somewhat significant, even from an actor's point of view, because I just... Um, and so when we started and, uh, and we shot for the most part, I think for the first part chronologically, so when she walked in for the first time, I'm literally seeing you know, an acting partner almost for the first time, um, uh, a daughter from my past, and uh, I just remember those first few moments of looking up and making eye contact. And you can do all the work you want in the world, but really what it gets down to is you know, acting with this other person in the scene, and it was really, she was really quite uh, uh, disarming um, and uh, truthful and uh, and just lovely in all the best uh, best ways. Mm. That's awesome. Well, last thing I want to ask you is, it, the Canadian Film Center, uh, you know, has produced a lot of filmmakers over the years, and uh, it's interesting to see a film like this come out of that... Uh, that pool of talent, I guess you could say. Do you guys, uh, you know, as actors, see the influence of what someone uh, has achieved from, from coming out of there? It seems like there's more and more filmmakers in Canada who are influenced by the Canadian Film Center, so I'm just curious. I mean, um, I'll jump in here because I, I'm a, a great, you know, lover of that, that center. Over the years, I've done numerous uh, short films for either up and coming directors or producers. Right. And in Molly's case, writers. Um, I have been involved in that center to read material for, uh, for the creators um, because, you know, getting a chance to hear actors, you know, do your, you know, not perform your pieces, but I mean, at least read right. them with some, imbuing the characters with, with some, you know, um, or just acting them out as best you can at a table. I mean, um, so I, I I've marveled at what's coming out of there and what continues to come out of there, and then what they continue to try and do with the, either a director's lab or the different kinds of labs that they they offer. I think it's invaluable, uh, mm -hmm. and I love the fact that it's in this city. That's great. I kind of want to just add a side note. I think another pretty amazing thing about this film was that it was written and directed by the same person. Right. And when that happens, the That's image... Yeah, the, yeah, the vision is just so clear. And mm. we had an unbelievable DP, Nick Haight. Like, I... Probably my favorite DP I've ever worked with. I was looking over his shoulder when he was making... Like, setting up some shots, and I was just, like, absolutely blown away. It's mm. so artistic. And, uh, yeah, I just... I've never worked with someone who wrote and directed, and I thought it was an amazing experience just because everything was... Like, you could see her vision come to life, and, you, which also brings me just to just to add here too, about the the joys, hardships also, um, the complications, but ultimately the joys of working with young um, filmmakers, uh, young directors of photography, a young mm -hmm. crew, um, and it has to do with a kind of infectious energy that's that's on set that that really. Um, and if you're a halfway decent actor that's open to this kind of thing, and you should be, um, it's a great environment to, um, to produce some work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fast, it's furious. Um, you know, in your case of, at the falls, I'm sure it was just, you know, a, but, but having said that, I, I've been on enough sets and plays to know that all, under those circumstances, Everyone, uh, if it's a good set, just sort of pulls together and, and, and really just takes a real good run at it to make it work. And sometimes those acting instincts that come out of that um, are generally, generally bang on. Hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs>